God says, God loves people for who they are in Christ, not for what they do or for what they have. Perhaps you hold a more traditional understanding of God. You hold the belief in a single God who made the world and cares for people. Perhaps you praise this God in your daily prayers for his benefits on your life. Or perhaps you have a more individualized or spiritual faith. You may have faith in a single deity or even several gods, but there can be only one who is concerned with the wants and desires of each individual. Or perhaps you have no belief in any gods. There is a time and place for everything, so it's not necessarily the cosmos trying to make your life harder. Your guardian angels have been keeping an eye on you and are proud of how you've handled some of life's more difficult situations. Instead, you think of yourself as a unique spirit or awareness that is a part of the cosmos, which is much bigger than it is and doesn't give a damn about anything particular or personal. Because I adore you so much, I want you to share life's experiences with me so that everyone can see how much I cherish them. You are a loving and good father. Father, I'm grateful for your love. Help me to have a pure heart so that I can spread your love, joy and serenity everywhere I go. Naturally, a time will come when even the most giddy optimist will feel that they are owed something. I am not someone who will make you happy by simplifying and making things simple for you. I will intentionally make your life challenging so that you can discover how to be joyful. I'm not the kind of person who will immediately provide you with the solutions and the answers to all of your problems. I'm the kind of person who will ask you the questions first and let you look for the answers on your own. My dear, you, I have an endless amount of love to give to you. You've probably thought about that or, at the very least, you're waiting patiently for things to go your way. I want to be your closest confidant, your friend and your partner. You are God's child, your creator. He referred to you as his child. You have been given the gift of life and the gift of freedom, but you also have the duty to use these blessings responsibly. It doesn't matter how old you were yesterday, last week, last month, or even years ago. All that matters is how old you are right now on earth. You do not belong to yourself. God is still saying to you right now, you aren't mine to own. To make you happy, I'll offer you anything you want and need. I will support you in making wiser judgments because I care about you. I want you to know that it's okay even though I'm going to let this happen, because I love you so much, as much as I care about your pain or grief, I also care about your happiness and general well-being. The good news is that you will soon be rewarded, and it all begins with a letter from a close friend or family member. You probably feel strongly about this person, and you probably have, at some point, established a relationship with them. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. God. God bless you. God. God bless you.